Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars, the Black Series. Now this is our first Black Series unboxing. Now, That's true. you have some, and we've played with some of these in the past, but this oh, yeah, will be our first some, huh? uh, filmed unboxing of the Black Series, and so far we've been nothing but impressed. Uh... So you caught me off guard a little bit, but I do. I got a Darth Vader Black Series, and I've got two uh, TIE, Fighter. TIE Fighter pilots. Um, very impressed with the amount of detail and the size of them. The drawback to them are they're like $20 a figure. Well, but I think it's worth it. This thing is a solid $60 a figure, but I'm hoping it is super cool. But what we got here is a stormtrooper, sand trooper, sand, sand trooper. trooper. Sorry, on sand, his dewback, sand trooper, stormtrooper, sand trooper. He's got the little the kill thing. So, Buster open. Well, I'll let you open that side. I'll go over the back. Well, actually, let's show him the back. Yeah. Here. Here's what the back looks like. It has a nice little story on what the stormtrooper and the dewback are. If you want me to, I can read that to you guys. This is Black Series number four. It has some number four. detailed pictures here of all the detail. On that, I really like the art uh, on the front and the back. They, they do a really nice, hmm? just general art for and the box. Um, and it, it's just the model itself. There's no CG or anything. Out of the front's art. a little different, but it... Yeah. But I mean, it, it's basically the toy at anyway, the end of the day. So yeah, let's bust her open. Let's get in there. It's, uh, I think all, we all just want to see this thing at the end of the day, right? That's what we're here for. Oh, wow. And right off the box, that looks super cool. Nice. So, um. Quick story that they have on the back, Sand Troopers were dispatched to the desert worlds, wore specialized gear, and are nicknamed Sand Troopers. Sand Troopers wear standard Storm Trooper armor augmented with water cooling units, oh, sorry, uh, augmented with cooling units, a helmet, sand filter, a survival backpack, and extra rations and water. While hunting for the Death Star plans on Tatooine, sand troopers use native dewbacks as mounts. These dewbacks are rugged reptiles with thick hides. Dewbacks are plotting, 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 but reliable mounts. When prodded by their riders, they are capable of brief bursts, brief bursts of surprising speed. My gosh, can I speak to this? All right. right off the bat, this guy is stupid detail. Uh, the sand sand detail alone is pretty impressive. Uh, crazy backpack detail. Hey, uh, now what's kind of odd is it has this little mag pouch which is totally built on them. This would clearly be a MP40 design mag pouch. It just kind of hangs here. I guess that's neat. Uh, backpack that attaches which is cooling pack basically is pretty cool overall the the sand detail here is easily my favorite it uh, looks like somebody took a lot of time to airbrush the original model so just it, taking it, this out there's so much articulation in this little dewback yeah this dude's so articulated he almost doesn't stand up his helmet doesn't come off which is a little bit of a surprise that's okay there's the saddle so originally, um, I guess the original dewbacks. Yeah, sat the original inside. seventy-seven uh, dewbacks. The the figure, which would have been straight legged back in the day, just sat straight in the dewback. Uh, which for the time and what they were working with was super well thought out. Uh, now this time we've clearly so, got I am a saddle. Curious. This is your dewback here. Very very detailed. Now. Should open up to a tongue that does move, that is ridiculously really detailed. detailed. Underneath the mouth, in the roof of the mouth, under the tongue. I mean, this thing. Even the toes are. Yeah. They're not individually articulated, but the fact that they move at all is pretty impressive. 
So I can almost grip things. The thumb moves along with the fingers. They're clearly based off an iguana. So, there you go. Um, wow. Toe waves. Which, uh, now this reminds me a little bit of some of the more modern Jurassic Park toys. Uh, obviously way more detailed. Um, I can see that. It, uh, well, it's a dinosaur at the end of the day. Okay, it, uh, so let's try him with the saddle. Let's saddle kind of clicks in. Here on this side. Is it? What is this hole here? Hmm? Does it go back? Hole? I got a little oh. hole here. That's weird. That's a that screw mount. Is. I guess, uh... I think that just covers it. Okay. That, uh, I, I think that's what's going on. So, the, the saddle doesn't seem to go on too well. Does it, it looks like it should click in. That's kind of odd. Yeah. That, uh... There's a lip here, and doesn't really look like much of a lip here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. That, uh, okay, so always this... have faith, right? Because that, that snaps on. It's really difficult to stick on, but once you get it on there, I don't think it's ever coming off. I'm surprised that isn't cloth. I almost would have expected it to be cloth. Go ahead and stick her buddy on there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it, as far as what you're going to realistically be able to do, I think I think that's pretty generous. It is way better than I thought it was going to be. He is not all the way down on his butt. It's just not going to work out there. Yeah, I just don't think that you can make a figure that articulated and it actually function. There you go. Overall, I mean, just super cool. Definitely a really nice display piece. Uh, I wish that the... IPod came, iPod came down. It almost looks like it just snaps off. Super cool though. Um, he also has a little lance. Um, couldn't get him to hold super well, but I'm sure that would not be an issue with some uh, manipulation. Like this would go right what, up in uh, there if I really wanted to. What uh, what you're buying here is an extreme amount of detail. Um, clearly not really intended to be a a toy per se. Uh, even though it's an extremely good one. Yeah. There's that. There you have it. There you have it. Huh? That'd be a really awesome toy. Yes. I don't like how... Yeah, his feet his are a little mouth. funny. Let's see how he's got it. Because the, on the box, his mouth does open. So I guess if we can push his front legs up a little bit. Uh, but his head doesn't really come up enough to open his mouth. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty passable. There you go. Do back, Stormtrooper. It's a Sand huge advancement trooper. over what we've seen in the past. Uh, the uh, 77 toy and all its nostalgic awesomeness was basically a green lizard with a hole in the top of it. Uh, the later, like, POF editions really were not that much of an update, so I, I, I'm super impressed to see this done right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, another win for the Black Series. Solid. If you're into displaying your Star Wars toys, you <clears throat> just need to own all these. That's the simple fact. Cool. Cool, guys. Hope you enjoyed us opening cool up. cool to have, like, 20 of these <laughs> yeah. in a row. Mm -hmm. But... Did they run more than two in hmm? a scene? No, there is never more yeah. than two in a scene. So you'd only really need two. It's yeah. only $120, right? Yeah. <laughs> Way ahead of you. So there you have it. I, I'd say a solid win. If you don't own one of these, please get one now. Yeah, you you will not be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Anything Black Series so far that I've come across. You know, I, I suspect, and we're going to be finding out if that's true for the whole series, but... I suspect it is. I guess. Well, remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see all of our up-to-date newest videos that we put out. Mm -hmm. Lots more Star Wars stuff to come, lots more Lego stuff to come, uh, and lots more ponies to come. Definitely more Marvel stuff. If you like Spider-Man, stay tuned. If you like TMNT, stay tuned. A bunch of, bunch of TMNT stuff coming, too. We'll see you guys later.